What's up guys? We're over here at Leech Lake for the seventh stop of the Bassmaster Opens. We're coming down on the last third of the season here. This is uh, the seventh tournament out of nine, so it's going to be a cool one. Uh, you know, we're, we're done with practice now, and it's it's kind of a weird deal. There's there's largemouth and smallmouth. The largemouth bite's really good. Um, I You know, if I, I went through a frog all day, one of the days flipped a little bit too, and probably had 30 35 bites and shook quite a few off caught a bunch of them but uh, most of them are in that two and a half to three and a half pound range or two you know two and a quarter to three and a half pounds so you can definitely catch 14 to 16 pounds you know if you do it all day but the smallmouth are extremely hard to catch or really hard to find more than anything and there's not that many of them but some of them are a lot of them are really big ones they're you know the average one's probably close to four pounds and uh you know oh, i'm, I'm kind of leaning towards that we're, we're gonna have some pretty crazy wind tomorrow and this is a huge wide open lake so it's gonna make a lot of stuff unfishable or really hard to fish still not 100 percent sure what i'm gonna do yet i have the large mouth as a backup option but i'm definitely gonna try to catch those small mouth it's uh i think the safe play would be to just go catch large mouth all day but I, I'd, I'd like to crack a big bag of smallies. So we're gonna, we're gonna go smallmouth fishing, whether it's right off the rip, or maybe we're gonna go catch a limit of largemouth first. We'll, we'll just have to feel it out in the morning. But uh, game plan as of now is a drop shot and a Demiki rig for the smallmouth. There, most of them are on big boulders out there in 10 to 15 foot. And the largemouth probably gonna throw a frog most of the time, maybe flip a little bit. So it's really fun fishing, the largemouth is. The smallmouth not so much, but if if we can get five of them it's going to pay off so that's the game plan as of now and uh hoping for a long day tomorrow but we'll we'll get our boat draws here soon and uh we'll see what happens so we'll check in in the morning hopefully catch some big ones what's going on guys it's the morning of day one uh yesterday actually ended up getting canceled we had uh i guess an off day the wind blew like crazy and this lake's pretty much built like a big bowl so that was that was a no-go it would have been super rough and uh probably a good call by pass i wanted to go because i don't mind fighting the waves but at the same time i uh i totally get it so we got a shortened tournament there's going to be no day three uh it's just going to be two days full field and uh it'll be done after that so kind of changes it up changes it up a little bit but at the end of the day you know if you don't catch them in two days you you weren't going to catch them anyway so that third day shouldn't make too much of a difference but uh same game plan gonna go for smallies probably right off the rip I, i'm still not 100 percent sure but i think i'm just gonna send it over there for them and hopefully we can catch a few you know first thing and uh if not we got the largemouth as a backup we'll go throw that berkeley swamp lord around all day and uh you know get a get a nice old bag of largies but we're just gonna have to see there's a lot of fish in this place i know a lot of guys are going to be chasing those smallmouth, and like i said there's there's not many of them and they are they're not necessarily that easy to catch but got a little shorter day today um about 48 about i think we have like an eight eight and a half eight hour day something like that but longer much longer day tomorrow so really just need to survive today and try to just catch a good bag you know anything over 16 17 pounds i think we'll at least be you know somewhere near that check cut but we'll just have to see i've been surprised by the weights in these things before so heading to the ramp now to pick up my or pick up my coing at his hotel and then we're gonna roll to the ramp right there and hopefully it's not too backed up and we'll get this thing going but we'll check back in on the water Of Mill Wagner. Mill at the Slate County Falcon clear behind him. This is Mill Wagner and Brent Brandstrom.
so unexpected, you don't even know. Yeah. I was this close to going to largemouth to start because I was just scared of not catching small ones. <laughs> Number five, and that's a dang Barely nine. Dude, I never expected this. Barely nine o'clock. Thank you, Lord. And then two of them. I got two I can wait. guys we just caught our third big one i think the camera died so there was another one over four haven't weighed them brett's got one we got two like three three and a half pounders gotta get rid of one of them but just throwing that berkeley flatworm around we got around four more hours so hopefully that's enough time to catch two more big ones but it's not easy to catch a small mouth out here so i'm pretty grateful for what we got <laughs> So, I feel like that's where most of 
I can see the fish and my drop shot weight sitting hanging, up. hanging below them. Damn it. All right, sitting inside the top ten in Tackle Warehouse, EQ points come on up out of Georgia, Emil Wagner. Set him up right there, five in the bag for Emil. 22 pounds and two ounces, new leader. Five fish worth 22-2. And Emil Wagner, again, top ten in EQ points right now, and this is going to position him very well moving out of this tournament and right now sitting in the lead. He already has a top ten down at Logan Martin in Alabama earlier this year, and here he is in first place. All right, well, things go according to plan? Uh, kind of, yeah. I, I went smallmouth fishing all day. I didn't even know if I could catch five, but I ended up catching like 10, 12 keepers, broke three off, and one of them was a freaking mega. So hopefully longer day today we, or tomorrow we can, we can do it again. But good start for sure. This place is fun. Absolutely good start. 22-2, nice job. And we'll see where you end up after today. All right, guys, just wrapped up day one on Leech Lake. Had a good day. Had 22 pounds, 2 ounces. Uh, we're in fourth place, so we got a live camera tomorrow. Tomorrow is the final day. They canceled that first day due to weather, so it's going to be over after two days. Um, I think I got most of it on camera. The it ended up we ended up having a couple of camera issues. It was trying to like clear or just fix some files every now and then. It wasn't overheating, but it would just quit recording. So didn't get everything. I don't think, but got most of it. But uh, good day. I mean, I think we caught. 10, 11, 12, keeper smallmouth, did it all day. It was kind of a high risk, high reward thing, and uh, it paid off. So got a got a longer day tomorrow doing at 4.30, so a little more time out there. And we got a live camera in the boat, and um, hopefully we can catch them again. I think if we can catch 17, 18, we'll at least, you know, come out of here with a top 10. But the goal is to catch another big bag and maybe more than we did today. I'm not sure if I got it on camera, but I broke three different fish off, and one of them I know was a really good one. So hopefully we can put them, not break any off, you know, tomorrow. I didn't lose any, but uh, hopefully no break-offs tomorrow. Put them all in the boat, and if we have to, we got some largemouth we can go to as well. So I'm excited. It's fun out there, and uh, those big smallies fight. So we're going to get after it in the morning, and see you all tomorrow. Buddy, give me something for the AFCO video. Boys had a good day. What'd you have? sacked them. I'm in like 14th, but. You're probably in like 10th. No, 14th. Hopefully we can sack them tomorrow. Get some good points, but. 19.8? We'll yep, 19.8 today. Loberg.
Give me something. Leech Lake, day two tomorrow. We're gonna bag them. Emil's gonna win. 27 and a half for the dub. See y'all tomorrow. Rock bass. Good start. <laughs> That's a big small lake. I hate this part so much. Oh, I thought we had her. This is one of those giants we need. Four and a half pounder. Take that over a small limit any day. Flatworm, that's what we caught every single fish on yesterday. Gobiashi. Three eighths ounce drop shot. Heck yeah. Dude, that's a tub. Let's go. Big giant boulder out here in 15 foot. Drop that flatworm right in front of the rock and can't even really see the fish. They just sit so tight to them. Came out of there and chomped it. That is the most nerve wracking stuff ever. Tiny one. Come on. <laughs> Looks like a nice one too. Sucked up in there. I mean, he was in the middle. That was pretty sick. That one was for you, Ronnie. You said you wanted some frog in her flipping. You got it. Isn't that crazy how we threw the frog over that? And it's that shallow that many times.
Oh, that was freaking sick. I didn't even have my hand on the thing. I think we figured him out a little bit. That's so fun. Pit boss. He's 15. It's so weird. I flipped like six inches around every one of those flips. Gotta hit him right in the head. Two pounds. I'm sure they're bigger, but whatever. Dude, I took my reel off the hand or my hand off the, and like he just <clears throat> just trying to make the viewers happy, you know. I'm sure they're tired of spinning rods. Yeah, get ready. Here they come. Come on. Big one. Don't jump again. Oh, he's barely hooked. Mm, yes. Dude, this might get stupid. There's so many of them on this rock. I'm shaking. Talk about homie. Dude. That gets me fired up. I haven't seen something like that literally the whole tournament. Heck yeah. Absolute toad. Dude, this is one of the biggest ones in the school. Holy crap, it's a giant one, dude. Five pounder. Don't jump for the love of God. It's the biggest one I've caught. Holy crap. Not the biggest one I've caught. Dang, that's a good one. Yeah, we'll, we'll do a little Robert G on that one. I told y'all it was gonna get freaking stupid. It's a four. Dude, let's go. Good to me. Catch two more smallies, well, a lot more than that. Bro. That gets me so fired up.
I think it's a walleye, but if it's a small mouth, it's big. Yeah, big walleye. I found it in pre-practice. It's just a, uh, it's a huge boulder, like bigger than anything else around it. And it's got these big jagged rocks next to it. And in the evening, if the boats leave it alone for a second, uh, they'll stack up on it. And there was probably 25 or 30 smallmouth on it, but I pretty much just found everything this week on side scan. And uh, I would just look for the rocks with the biggest shadows. And you know, that obviously meant the biggest rocks. And that was your best high percentage shot at catching one instead of just trolling around kind of aimlessly. But they were stacked on it. If it'll get left alone for a second, which I doubt it will, we could pull up there and catch three giants. I had four bites off of it, hooked three, caught two, so. There's potential to pull up there and literally catch, you know, 23 to 24 pounds in a, you know, a matter of minutes. That was so sick. Not that big, but we need them. That was like the most unskillful thing on Bass Live history. Not a toad at all. But it might weigh more than one of them large now. Keep going. Emil Wagner followed along on Bassmaster.com and FS1 today. Started off with 22.2 yesterday. Five more to go with it today worth 18 pounds and 13 ounces up to sixth place with a two-day total of 40 pounds and 15 ounces. So again, you got to be sixth or higher and average 20 pounds a day and you're still uh, in sixth place, not even leading. So again, Leech Lake showing out with a larger than a 20-pound average. It doesn't matter where you go in the country. If you have a 20-pound average, it's fantastic. And uh, a great finish for you today, Emil. Yeah, super fun place to fish. I mean, the, the fish are huge here. The smallmouth are big. They got really hard to catch today. I only caught like six keepers. I had two two-and-a-half pounders in there and three real big ones, but I'd love to come back. This place is fun. I'll take the points. I mean, just a good event. Good. Good job. We'll see where you end up. Sixth place right now.